You look stunning. I brought the bellies. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. isn't a new handbag. It could be actually a new handbag. Why <laughs> not? Oh, yeah, it could be a new handbag. Mina Rowe. Ion's a pro at wearing these, yes, by the way. I've worn it so many really? times. I get her pregnant every season. I know. For like the past six years, five oh, years. Really? Yeah. Okay. All my pregnancy pictures on Instagram, they're not mine. Because I never took pictures with Taj when I was no. pregnant. They're all Lisa because I'm very private sometimes. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait. We've done so well in the maternity space. This is like our big reveal to the world that we're no longer just doing maternity. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I cannot wait to see all of it. So go get all the girls ready because yeah. we have to start seeing them and you can send them in. Mina Rowe is known for providing the best maternity clothes. Like we're literally number one in the world. We decided to go into non-maternity because people don't get pregnant every few months. A lot of our repeat customers come every two years, which is not really sustainable for a brand. So the natural next step is non-maternity wear. This is my first fashion show. Ever. Ever. I would be so nervous. Yeah. I really am. It's a really, really big deal. And my husband's a CFO of Mina Row, okay. so we need to make sure that everything is perfect. When I brought this idea, to my husband to start Mina Row, he didn't really see the vision. When he invested in Mina Row, his words verbatim was, I'm investing in you. I believe in you. I don't really believe in this business. So for me, pulling this fashion show off, he'll see the vision. Everything will come full circle. So the first half of the show will be the new maternity collection. Okay. And then the second half will be the big reveal of the, the, the non-maternity, non -maternity. the ready Which to wear. Which is amazing. Yeah. We're gonna kill it though. I'm we really are. excited. I'm excited cool. for you to see the girls. Okay, perfect. Anita, we are ready for the models, please. Hello guys. Hi. We have our first five. We, you need to really pick the girls that you really want. Okay. Don't forget the super size ones too. We need more of them. Not super size. Plus size. Plus size. Plus size. Plus size. This is not McDonald's, girl. Mm. Many, many big brands, they come to me to get models because I have a modeling agency. But Lisa is the first client that ever asked me for a plus size model. Super size is food, it's not humans. Uh, if you super size one more time. I, you know, I should be better, right? <laughs> but I'm getting better with English. Like now I know words like verbatim. The other day I went to the bank and I tell the guy, give me my money verbatim. Verbatim, in exactly the same words as were used originally. Yeah. Beautiful. Number one. Yeah. Check you out. Yes. Perfect. This is Hami. I found her on the internet. Where yes. on the internet? In the Instagram internet. On in the Instagram. Yes. <laughs> She's from my country. Oh, love girl. it. Love, love it. the belly. Ooh. Yes. Whoa. Yes, girl. Yes. Tens across the board. Yes. Oh my God, I'm obsessing Thank over you. your curve. Mm. Thank Beautiful. you very much. Thank you. When I first started my brand, Mina Row, we were looking for a diverse group of models. So from two different agencies, I booked Chanel and I booked Ion. Completely different photos. Yes, they look similar, but I just needed two black models. So I booked Chanel, I booked Ion, showed up to the photo shoot, only one black model show up. And I'm like, where the hell is the other girl? She's like, no, I'm Chanel Ion. So I ended up with one model that day and um, the rest is history. We love each other. She's my muse. Oh my God, this was really good. So good. I think I have too many checks. I have 21. Ah, I have 15. You should get 20. We're gonna okay. go through all the pictures after to pick. Yeah. Okay. So she needs 15 Total models, words? but I want her to get 20. Okay. Because I need to make money, girl. <laughs> oh, you're like convincing her. You're upselling her. Okay. Upselling, as always. Yeah. You, you know sure you don't want a piece you of cake with that? I know. <laughs> yeah, got it. aren't as grumpy as mine. Oh, beyond. Are they grumpy too? Yes. Oh, good. It's one of those days. We're getting a once-in-a-lifetime experience and you guys are all grumpy. Well, look at that. Excited? Someone's got to be excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> well, good afternoon, Miss Caroline. Hi. Well, My name is Stephen and I will be your butler here in Atlantis. Welcome to Atlantis. Thank you. So allow me to escort you first. Come, come, let's go. As a guest in this country, I get asked this all the time. Like, do we have to wear 
um, be covered? Can we show our knees? Can we show our arms? And I always say the same thing. It's not about that. It's all about showing respect. Oh, wait till you see your room. Maybe it's gonna be nice. Here we go. Genuinely, you can live exactly how you live anywhere else in the world. It's crazy. I love it. Yay. Welcome to your suite. Wow, you look go. at this. Careful. Oh my goodness, we're sleeping here tonight? Wow. What a room. I think Dubai has a strong culture of staycation more than any other place, especially for families. And you have the, all these beautiful hotels on the beach, but I've never seen anything like this. And this room is so special. It's booked up three months in advance. I mean, everybody is right now trying to get on a plane and get out of their country, and we have it on our doorsteps. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, my God, you can make your own cookies. Oh, the scones. Mm. They must have known I'm coming. The scones are here. No, if they knew you were coming, there would be fries here. Miss Caroline, yeah. we have a surprise for you downstairs. Oh. Don't tell me Sergio. Someone's removed our children. What's going on? Wow! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Oh wow! I need a picture of this. Enjoy your night, Yasmin, Sack, Aaron, Sophia, Ayan. Oh my God! Living in Dubai kind of feels like an endless vacation because there's so much to do. He's sitting down. Like, growing up in Austin, Texas, once a year we would take a trip, okay? And we would go to Corpus Christi, like, Corpus Christi. And let me tell you, my family, they are so Arabs, like, we're going to a hotel, but like, they would literally pack the back, you know, the back trunk with food and coolers. <laughs>